house, banks will look at your credit score to determine the risk that they will take when they lend you such a hefty sum of cash. I'm Michaela, and today with Myra, I'll be giving you guys a beginner's guide to building your credit score. First thing you should know is that your credit score is the main thing standing in between you and the bank's approval of your loan application. To get your credit score rating, banks will analyze what is called your credit report, which shows your current financial commitments, outstanding debt, and repayment history. Plus, they'll see whether or not you've been paying all your debt and loans on time. There are two types of credit reports. CCRIS, which is Central Credit Reference Information System managed by Bank Negara, or CITOS, which is a private company and one of Malaysia's leading credit reporting agencies, also known as CRA. An ideal number for your CITOS credit score would be between 697 to 850. Meanwhile, for CCRIS, that number would be between 7 to 10. It helps banks figure out how risky it would be to lend it to you. A high credit score shows that you're committed to paying back your debts on time, while a low credit score shows that you're not so qualified to take on another debt, which might result in the rejection of your loan application. Now, how exactly do you build credit? Option 1, credit card. Get a secured credit card, and these are usually tied to a savings account, and the card limit is either the amount in the account or a percentage of it. Make responsible charges, keep your balance low or zero, and also pay on time every month. Keep in mind that not all lenders report secured credit cards to the credit reporting companies, but they will be willing to convert your account to a traditional credit card after a certain period of time. And if you have a credit card, make sure there's activity on it. To have a credit score, there needs to be activity on your card within the last six months. Even a small purchase made once a month is counted. Here's a tip, select one small recurring transaction and automate it. For example, your phone bill, Netflix or Spotify. Option 2. Without a credit card. Pay your student loans diligently and in a timely manner. For example, your PTPTN loans. Take out an auto installment loan. This is the easiest type of loan to get. Interest rates and terms vary depending on who underwrites the loan for you though. You can also get mortgage or personal loans and use the amount you borrowed to pay off the monthly installment. Take note that if you have trouble finding a loan on your own, you may need a co-signer to share responsibility for the payment. But if you have a credit score, here's how to improve it. Start building a healthy credit history. How? Well, firstly you should stop applying for more loans. And if you want to get a credit card, be firm on your budgeting. Make sure to pay all of your bills and loans on time, especially the ones with a high interest. For example, personal loans and credit cards. Keep in mind that a good credit score in your report will increase the likelihood of getting your loan application approved. So don't take this matter lightly and manage your debt responsibly. If you like this video, check out similar content on Myra's YouTube channel or the social media account at underscore AskMyra or head on to myra.com.my for more.